today we're gonna fly in an RV10 to Cherry Ridge, uh, that's in Pennsylvania, for breakfast. Uh, it's Charlie's RV10, he built it, starting in his garage, or not. So we're gonna take a flight with that, and I have the cameras rolling. So stick around, enjoy the flight. See you in a bit. Check, 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 I got you. Uh, your volume here. Oh yeah, it's loud. Shut the music off. What? Uh, why? Check, 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 one, two, check. Gotcha. Uh, check, check. Right, right here is your, uh... Okay. Oh, perfect, right there's perfect. That's your audio, music is there. Let's see, we're leaned. We got everything on here. So, 23.6, thought that I used 23.3. Right. So what I do is I'm going to come in here, calibrate fuel flow. Estimated was 23.3. My actual was 26.6. So when I do this, it actually gets 23.6, 23.6. It actually gets better every time. Okay. Oh, I see. You so keep it, recalibrating it's, as it's you go along. It's training it, yeah. So I got 50, 60 gallons remaining. Fuel used. Reset. All right. Oh, nice. So that's good. You're getting pretty good at this thing. Yep. So we're going to go to direct. Well, let's do this. Uh, home. Flight plan. Orange County to November 30. Cherry Ridge. Then, all right. So we're going to start on the left tank. Uh, let's see. Orange County Airport, Montgomery, New York. Automated weather observation. One, two, three, four. Zulu. Wind zero five zero at one zero. Visibility one zero. Sky condition clear. Temperature 13 Celsius. Dew point 05 Celsius. Altimeter 3040. Zero, zero. Zero, Density zero. altitude minus 200. Zero, three, zero, Orange four, County Airport, zero. Montgomery, New York. So I, when I set up my sticks, what I did is I put uh, some common functions on there so I can switch my frequencies. I can flip flop. Okay. And I can also switch between uh, COM1 and COM2. So most of the stuff I can do from here, the only thing that I didn't do was uh, my flaps, which now I'm... Um, you can always add it, right? Uh, I could. Okay, it's it's a little bit of a pain in the neck. In the pan, Orange County. All right, so we got our flight plan in. I usually keep this page up because I want to yep. monitor my engine as I'm leaving. I don't blame you. These are what, 11-inch uh, screens? Uh, like 10 and a half, I oh, okay. believe. So I've got engine information over on the left here as well, but this gives me a lot more detail. Like here, what I, I can see my CHTs, and it shows me what the hottest one is. Here, I can see the ball. That's nice. That's one reason why I one reason why I got two screens to do the same. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing. It's, it's funny because I considered three screens and a lot of guys put three in. I'm like, what do I need three screens for? That's a lot. Um, the only downside is if somebody wants to fly from the right seat, you can't have this full display PFD. You can only have half half a screen. Oh, really? Because this is designated as the MFD. This is the primary flight display. Uh, yeah, it's funny because in the the Dynon, you can do both if yeah. you want to. It's weird... You can do it, but I need a uh, physical switch. switch. Gotcha. You have your wallet and stuff? Everything? Uh, yep. Oh, so everybody, here's Charlie. Say hi, Charlie. Hey, everybody. <laughs> that takes Jet A. 
Is Jet A powered? Yeah. All right. We're going to do our run up real quick. Get my checklist out. All right. So my trim is all set. Yeah, I see somebody. Oh, he's down there. All right. We'll get out of his way quick. Extra full rich. Fuel pump is on. Everything's in the green. Orange County traffic, uh, RV-10 is entering runway 4 for departure. We've got the uh, plane on uh, base to final in sight. Let's do it. All right. Rock and roll. Orange County traffic, White Sister Skyhawk, turning final, runway 4, Orange County. Man, she takes off. Oh yeah, this thing, about uh, 500 feet. Pull back on the prop a little bit. That's, that's 250 horsepower, right? 260. 260. Yep. Jesus it, it's probably, uh, well, Lycoming told me it's more like 265 because this is a, a blueprinted engine, so right. they get a little bit more horsepower out of it. All right, so I usually climb around 25 squared. So we'll go up to, let's see, 4,500. So autopilot, uh, heading, altitude, vertical speed, climb at, uh, I don't know, 700 feet a minute. Heading, autopilot on, and that's it. That's nice. Fuel pump is off. So what I can do now, um, I look at my flight plan. I'm going to Cherry Ridge, so I can actually uh, say direct to, activate, nav. Right. And it'll just, it'll just go. So it's going to turn, it's going to turn to that heading now. It's, it's a GPS, actually, basically. Now it's, it's following the GPS. Right. Um, so you can see right here, you know, the, the course line. Right. And I've got my altitude select. Um, at 4,500, so it's just going to keep climbing at, I think I put uh, 700 feet a minute. Right. Uh, the That's other thing nice. that it has, with, which is really cool, um, like a cruise climb for me is around 120 knots. So what I can do, if I can hit uh, IAS, which is indicated airspeed. So I can set it to 120 knots, hit indicated airspeed, and it'll continue climbing at 120 wow. knots. So you don't got to do anything, like the airliners, push the pilot button, and then you're, I mean, autopilot, and you're good. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to have, though. Yep. So my oil's coming up now. And I've, I've got the door closed. What I found is uh, in the winter, I pretty much have the door closed. The whole and it, time. it sits right at about 180 degrees. So we've got uh, 19 minutes to go. So it tells us, you know, we'll, we'll be landing at 9 o'clock. Perfect timing. Yeah. So I'm going to pull back on the... Uh, RPM a little bit. Traffic down in one six eight Lima Alpha. To like twenty three, twenty three. Orange County. Yeah, she just takes off, man. This is it's amazing. Yeah. So I still have a couple things to do. A buddy of mine has a prop balancer, so he's gonna balance my prop for me. Um, smooth it out a little bit. So for air, you got one over there, oh, I feel it. and then you've got air up here. That's the air conditioner. Uh, this, actually, let me shut this off. So I've got a servo in the back that opens, that puts air in here, and then you can dial it in with these things. So you built this from scratch, right? In your garage it started? <laughs> yeah, November 1st, uh, 2016. Wow. Right, when I started, from the south, and uh, on first four, flight was April 6th of this year, so got 49.4 hours on it in a little over two months. Wow. Um, yeah, I've been doing a lot of flying. So yeah, it's it's really nice. I mean, we're still 
still climbing here. So that beep was telling me that I'm getting close to my uh, shut my landing lights off. I can leave the landing lights on. What happens is as soon as I get above 80 knots, they automatically change to wigwag. Oh, okay. So when I'm flying around in congested airspace, I usually leave those on just so people can see me. Right. All right, so I'm going to start leaning it out. So I've got this thing here, this lean assist. So what it does is it starts watching your EGTs. Okay. And you'll start seeing the EGTs climb here. And as soon as one of them peaks, it'll uh, it'll start flashing. Orange County tra traffic take up to Illinois Fall, final right base. Orange County traffic down in 168 Lima Alpha, turning left, crosswind. One so I went, I, I went from, uh, it was just at 17 gallons per hour at full rich. So, oh, highway in the sky. Yep. So it's going to level off for you at 45. That's it. Oil temp's coming up nice, almost to 180. And it's 47.2 hours on your engine, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> So we're still leaning. We're at 12. There we go. So the first cylinder two peaks first. That was uh, at 12 gallons an hour. There's the other ones peaking. So in an ideal scenario, everybody would peak at the same time. Right. So one of the things that I'm I'm working on is, and it, it takes a lot. I get, maybe we can do a run on the way back. But I basically. Um, lean and figure out County what traffic temperature traffic each one peaks at. On let, me, uh, let me find Cherry Ridge here so Six, I can get rid four. of these people talking. So it knows I'm going to Cherry Ridge, so here's all my information. CTAF, send it to COM1, now it's in standby. I can just nice. swap it. Um, They're all peaked? Yeah, they, they've all peaked. So. You can see the little diamond here. That's, yep. that's where peak was. So I'm I'm running a, a little bit rich of peak. So I'm at 13 gallons an hour. We're you know doing 150 knots, 151 knots true. Um, but you want them all to peak at the same time. So what I do is I, I got to run these calibration tests, right. and then the guy that makes the uh, the guy that makes the fuel injection system, it's kind of like GAMI injectors. He'll send me nozzles that have different size holes in them. Um, and then I put them in there and I, I keep doing this test until I get them all to peak nice. within about 0.2 gallons an hour. Wow. The temperature's right at uh, 181 and my, my cooler door is almost all the way closed. So, it's so the temperatures, nice. you like the temperatures around four, not more, more than 400? Uh, Lycoming says between 350 and 435. So, you know, I talk to people and they've got them running in the 330 um, degree range. It's a little rich, no? Uh, you know, I don't know. I mean, this... To me, this is absolutely fine. If, yeah. if you look at any of the articles that, that Mike Bush reads, you know, you want them in the 350 to 400 range. Otherwise, what happens is uh, you, you could start having valve problems. So, I mean, this works for me. Um, yeah, 39 degrees. It's a little chilly in there. <laughs> I'm good. We're moving along here. We're almost there already. Yeah, 28 miles to go. So it gives you the uh, you know, the extended center lines. So if I wanted to check, um, I can look at waypoint. Got weather. Um, so this is MSV. That's uh, Sullivan, right? Yep, Sullivan County. Uh, so it pulls off the nearest tower. So wind is is zero one zero. Um, so this will actually, if I look at runways, it tells me based on winds. Right now, 
Which is better? Yeah, three six. I've got a, a three knot headwind. Um, oh, here it is. So thirteen fifty seven. Yeah. So the uh, all the AOPA oh, information. Oh, nice. That's cool. You know, it tells you there's an air uh, restaurant. It's got fuel. Yeah. And then I've got my uh, instrument approaches. Nice. Yeah, so what's really cool with this, um, we're probably too late, but um, I, I can select an approach, and I can say I, I want a visual approach to runway 36, load approach. So what it does is it, it picks a spot, so you can... Uh, let's see, if I turn to the map page now. Uh, so 3-6, it, it puts a, a marker three miles out for final. So even VFR, if I wanted to get the autopilot to help me, what I can do is say, take me straight to this thing, right? So right. I'm going to go direct to flight plan, send me direct to that point. And now what I oh, can, okay. so it's going to turn me. I was hoping that he would say what, what run, runway he was landing on. But then what I can do is I can say uh, flight plan. And you can see that 2351 is where it, that would be pattern altitude. So I can click on this and say direct to VNAV, hit OK, select VNAV. Now this thing's going to take me down. Really? Based on where I am right now, it knows how fast it needs to go down so that when I get to that point, I'm at 2351. It's amazing. It, it is. It's, it's, it's like you're flying an airliner. It's, that's, this is what they do all day. Yeah. They don't hand fly. Yeah, it, it blows me away. No, it's a cool, it's a cool thing. So, let's see, does Cherry Ridge have, um, no, they don't have uh, weather. Okay. They probably took it off Sullivan's tower. So we'll fly that whole line for you and turn right in, 3-6. Yeah. yeah. And and it'll be, even though I'm not shooting an instrument approach, it's it's visual. shooting an, a visual approach. Right. Traffic, uh, 6 Whiskey entering uh, left downward for runway 3-3. Three, three. Three, three. Carry I don't have three three there. Oh. It's the main different airport. <laughs> no, it's the right one. You can see them in the pattern there. Oh yeah, you can. Right. Yeah, he, he's downwind for for three six. That's cool. And it goes for paint. Yeah, so so it's. So we're we're going down the the twenty three fifty. So you can see that it's starting to descent already. So by itself, right? I've I've got it programmed in to do three degree descents, which is you know around five hundred feet a minute. That's really cool. Depending on how fast we're going. It's so, definitely amazing uh, what's offered, isn't it? These yeah. days for these for these planes. It is. I got my uh, my landing lights back on, so they're they're wigwagging now, so it'll make us a little bit more visible. So I'll make a call when I'm 15 miles out. Yeah, it's nice and smooth. You know, I, when I decided to build, I I wanted something. Um, you know, that I could take cross-country flights with. Oh, what a doubt. And, uh, you know, I wanted to equip it. You know, I'm instrument rated, so I, I wanted, you know, nice IFR uh, platform. So if it, if it wasn't for IFR, I don't need the, the GTN 650. Each one of these screens has a, a WASP GPS built in. The plane coming over to Cherry Ridge, what's your position? Uh, sure, it's traffic. Uh, six Lima Whiskey left. Uh, uh, just turn in base here for runway three three. Uh, okay, we're we're we're, we're, we're going to let you land. Are they still saying three three? Yeah. Um, we are going to Cherry Ridge, right? Yep. <laughs>
So, yeah, I don't need this. These both have GPSs built in. The Garmin G5 has a GPS built in. But I need this to be legal for yeah, IFR. Yeah, GPS, IFR certified GPS. Yeah, these, these are not IFR right. certified, but they are WAS. So the autopilot just disconnected. I'm not sure uh, what happened, but... I didn't touch anything, did I? I can... Uh, <laughs> that's Joe. He's up at 10,000 feet. <laughs> really? <laughs> you don't care. Cherry Ridge traffic. Experimental RV-10 is 10 miles to the, uh, the east. Inbound, landing runway 36, Cherry Ridge. That's beautiful. So this is, this is probably, uh, this might be Joe over here. 10,000 feet. <laughs> The airport should be over that way somewhere. Man, these planes, they boogie, man. Yeah. 260 horse? Yep. <laughs> and it's not a heavy airplane. No, it's not. You know? It's not heavy at all. Yeah, so usually when I'm coming in, I've got uh, the traffic page up. What's nice is I've got small versions here, so I, I usually keep this up. This always tells me what the nearest airport is, right? just in case there's a problem. You know, and if there is a problem, I can hit this. Um, it'll pop up. And you pick one. Pick one, direct to. Amazing. Um, and then the, the traffic page is down here, but I, I usually have it like this so I can see right. a little bit better. Uh, we're going to be back taxiing at 36 at Cherry Ridge. Now he's calling at 36. Yeah. All right, so I'm I'm going to see. Doesn't look like there's anybody else there. The airport's over that way somewhere. I still don't have it. Did we do the runway here? We're supposed to do it last year. Yeah, Cherry Ridge traffic. Skyhawk 29047 is entering at 45 for the left downwind for 36. Cherry Ridge. So that's him. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly past that line and go around and, and enter the pattern properly. I don't want to. Good deal. Piss anybody off. You can see that this thing's still still doing its thing, going down to 2350. So now will it turn that line? will be departing Yeah, it'll it'll turn that line, and it'll it'll line me up right for the runway. So we're we're three miles from that extended center line right. there. Skyhawk 29047, traffic's in sight. We're entering, we're still on a 45, about 3,000 feet. I'm going to shut the autopilot off here and just hand fly it the rest of the way in. Stay here around 2,500. So that that's this oh. is intercom. Oh, actually, I should turn this. This is the radio. Oh, that's what I was trying to listen to. I couldn't hear it. Do you see the airport yet? Yep, right there. All right. Two o'clock. Yep. Two thirty. Departing to the south. To the west. So that was approaching my uh, my VNAV. Wow, picking up Sky Acres from here.
All right, got a guy on downwind there. Yep. High wing. Yeah, Cherry Ridge traffic. Sky Hawk 29 is there for some turn left base for runway 36, Cherry Ridge. Wow, that's a tight base, that guy's. Very tight. <laughs> Holy God. So what do we got here? Uh, let's see. Three thousand feet of runway. That's plenty for you, right? Oh yeah. Cherry Ridge traffic, Sky Two Nine Zero Four Seven, turning final for three six. Cherry Ridge. Now we gotta slow this girl down. Cherry Ridge traffic, Bonanza is 10 to the south. I'll be going straight in for 3-5 if nobody's in the pattern. Cherry Ridge. Cherry Ridge traffic, uh, experimental RV-10 is entering a 45 for left downwind runway 36, Cherry Ridge. Got a few planes in the pattern here. Cherry Ridge traffic, Skyhawk 29047 is exiting uh, 36. Airport inside. Do you see it? Yep, turn it. Uh, miles to the west, inbound. Uh, right, right, little building is right there. Oh, yeah, see yeah, the yeah I see it. Yep. Cherry Ridge traffic, RV-10 turning left downwind, 3-6, Cherry Ridge. All right, so pattern altitude is 2,300, I'm a little low. Too low, terrain, too low, terrain. Want fuel pump on, I got all my lights on. Right tank. I like the, I like the throttle. Flaps. Cherry Ridge traffic, RV-10 is downwind, runway 3-6, Cherry Ridge. Notch number two. Got nice flaps on this too. Yeah, it's um, it, it's nice because you just click every every click takes it down one notch. Yeah, it's nice. The so mixture full rich, prop forward. Cherry Ridge traffic RV10 turning left base 36 Cherry Ridge. So has that brand new airplane smell. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Everything's on. Get rid of that guy. All right. No pressure. Got cameras, so it's got to be a good landing, right? You going to grease it? I doubt it. <laughs> Cherry Ridge traffic, RV-10 final. Runway 36, Cherry Ridge. Last notch of flaps. Cherry Ridge traffic, but is on a three mile final for a three six. Cherry Ridge. Should really fly a proper pattern. I mean, I'm a half mile, so this. Bonanza, just so you know, you got a aircraft in front of you landing. Yeah, I got you safe. Nice. Betty yells at me a lot, and uh, I need to adjust it. Yeah, I gotta. That was a greaser. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Oh, I feel it.
I yeah. see what you're saying. Yeah, so hopefully the... Uh, hopefully the uh, video will show me whether it's the left or the right. I'm going to put those stiffeners on both. So. I feel like to me, like the front shimmy, no? I guess it's her beard. No, it's the main. RV10's clear, 3-6, Cherry Ridge. All right, where do we park? I guess over there. Oh, Joe's already over there. Okay. Maybe that wasn't him at 10,000 feet. Oh, I think that must have been him taking a video of me coming in, maybe, or a picture. Thanks for letting me fly along. That was fun, man. Yeah. Yeah, so the guy that uh, that's going to paint my plane painted his. Nice. All right, so where am I parking here? I usually I used to park right facing this way, that little cutout. And park there. You mean? Or you can park next to that highway right there, back and push it in. Uh, it's all park. Yeah, I'll just park it next to the back over here. So I've got um, I've got a, uh, a purge valve installed. So when I shut down, instead of using my mixture, I actually uh, I have a valve that cuts fuel. Oh really? Yeah. That's cool. All right, guys. See you on the next one.